Hello, hello, hello. Oh my goodness, you guys, you guys, everybody, everybody, all my darlings. I've been looking forward to this one so much, so much. Flames on the side of his face, heaving breaths. Okay, if you don't know what that's from, it's from Clue. Oh, Bobo. Uh, put him outside with a brand new toy. I was hoping he would be appeased, but maybe, okay, I might have to let him in, but we'll figure it out. Anyway, okay, we have a lot to go through. This one is special. We're doing Hexanoct. Oh, so much to go through. Okay, first things first, I'm gonna blow your mind. Are you ready? I planned ahead. I actually wrote down the name, it's just Hex, the notes, and um, the name of the perfume, thank you. I planned ahead. I was like, how can I save some time? Good. Okay, we have a quick lesson to go through. Sorry, I'm kind of speeding through because I've had a lot of caffeine. <laughs> First glass of wine because I had to run some errands and I went to, oh, I went to Walmart because, oh, you know, kitties and dogs need food. It amazed me how many children were at Walmart. Like two parent families, as far as I could tell, um, just wandering around, just oblivious, just whatever. I'm not saying that I don't like kids. I do like kids. I mean, they're not for me, but I do like, you know, I, I don't want any harm to, hum, to to come to a child. Of course I don't. That's that's an evil person, okay? But what I really don't want is horrible parents to just be like, oh yeah, let's, let's just go hang out at Walmart. Even though we're a two-parent family and you could stay home with these children while there's a pandemic going on, just made me very angry, but <clears throat> moving on. Okay, so I planned ahead. We have we have a little education to do real quick. If you already know what a decanter is in regards to perfume, then you can skip this part, skip ahead five minutes, that's fine. Um, if you don't know, then stick around. Um, a decanter, well, I wanna start here. Let's say you want Let's say you live in the Midwest and you're about one to two hours from civilization, like say a department store or Sephora or anyone that would carry uh, something fancy like um, Exonoct. <laughs> Let's just go there. My brain, so much caffeine, so little wine. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Okay. Um, hmm. Hi, Bebop. Did you want to say hello? She just hopped up on the table. Maybe I, can, maybe I can get her to come over and say hi. Okay, so let's say you live in the Midwest and you want to smell something. Sorry, I'm just going to keep my eye on her. Oh, she's in the window. Okay, and you want to smell something amazing? Say Shalimar. Good example. Um, Shalimar, but you live so far away. Here's what you do. You get in the car, you drive one to two hours to a department store in which they might have Shalimar, or here's your other option. You go to a website that is marketed as a decanter and you, uh, you type in Shalimar and then you look up the options that are available for sizing and you go, oh, oh, that's what you do instead. Now, I want to make sure that everybody knows that that's what I did for Hexanoct. Okay? And the reason for this is that right now, in this current crisis, um, it's kind of hard to get supplies, ingredients. It's kind of hard to get all that. Okay, so they've shut down for a little while while they're waiting for food supply and also to stock other orders that they do have. Um, I'm sorry, give me a minute. I'll have to get my dog. It might be a minute. You know, we're just going to pull through. He, he's fine. He's got water. Of course, he's got water. Um, so that's what I did. I went to Hex, you know, I went to Hexanot first and I looked at their most popular and I took some notes. And um, 
And then I went to the decanter website, which I will include. I'll include a link for both. But right now, again, Hexanoct is kind of shut down. I think they're starting uh, production again in June. I hope. I hope. Um, anyway, you guys ready? <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Sorry about my dog. I'm just, I'm just gonna leave him out there. He's he's fine. But I should go in order of what I have here. I should do that. <clears throat> However, there's one in here that has vetiver. And if you remember from I think the second video for a top the blood d'ange, that electrician had vetiver. And that was one of my favorites. One of my favorites. Absolutely. I hope I just, I hope I explained decanting, decantering, decanting correctly. Basically, it's just a warehouse full of high-end perfume that has been decanted into, say, um, some kind of container. There's probably a spigot on the bottom. And if you say you want one of these little stick ones, we'll just fill it up for you. Send it on through. So... You don't have to spend so much money. Here's the thing, Shalimar, $135 for like one and a half ounces. It's expensive. So if you want to skip that, if you don't have $135 to spend on perfume, oh, 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 and by the way, the most expensive one I found online, $3,000. It came in this gorgeous glass cut glass goblet type of, oh, gorgeous. Yeah, when I'm in the laundry. <laughs> anyway, hmm, I hope this is enough wine. Let's jump in, okay? So I'm gonna start with Hexanoct Apparition is the name of the um, perfume. Oh, now this website, which again, I will include a link on the first one in. I didn't even plan that. If they're on order, or there's some voodoo going on. They're not. That's a good me. But if they are. Um, this website is extremely mysterious. Okay. There's no information about when they started, who runs it, where they are. There's very little information. This is a wonderful website. For, I'm just going to ignore my dog for now. He's fine. There's water. It's not that hot. Blah, blah, blah. He's fine. I promise. Go play with your piggy. Bought him one of those like squeaky piggies because they were out at Walmart for like months, even before this pandemic started. And he loves his piggies. And he so finally found him one. He was so excited. So excited. Go play with it. He already bit off the nose to the little piggy nose. This is like the first thing he does when he gets a piggy. There are about six of these. I have them lined up over there. <laughs> Poor piggy. <laughs> My dog is not a vegan. Sorry, taking too long. Taking too long. Let's uh, jump in. Gosh, darn it, Liz. Okay, again, these are stick ones. Each of these cost... $2.45, which is amazing in my opinion, because some samples can run you, I've seen $10 per. There is one, I don't really want to call them out, but I'll call them out. DS Durga or DSM Durga, um, $30, 38 for four samples. Guess where I'm going to get them? To a decanter. And I know I'll pay less. <laughs> Ooh, there we go. These are perfume oils. Whoa, yeah, that is definitely an oil. These are oils. So they're going to stick around a bit longer. Um, both of my hands. Ooh, we're just going to do our best. Okay, we're just going to do our best. I kind of wanted to go for a spooky theme today, since who knows if we're going to get a Halloween <laughs> this year. <laughs> I don't care. It doesn't matter. You can have Halloween whenever you want. It doesn't matter because they sell candy everywhere. Whoa. Okay, vanilla. Huge vanilla. Oh, check that out. Amber vanilla, bone white woods. Bone white woods. Again, the name of this is Apparition. This website is 
is perfect, perfect for those goth people that you know and love. Seriously, check out the website. It's super fun. They sell body wash. They sell hair and beard oil. They sell incense, I think, also. Whoa. Okay, heavy on the vanilla. And as we all know from the last one, I don't really care for vanilla. I don't get a lot of amber from this. But this is this is, this is oil. It's going to take a while to dry down. And that's the nice thing about oils. It takes a while to lose it. Sometimes, depending depending on things. Mm. Again, vanilla I think is boring. There's not enough amber in here to suit me. And I don't really know what bone white woods would smell like. Although I have been in like, oh, <sighs> I went to a fantastic um, national Darn, where was it? I think it was when I was living up near Boulder. I don't remember, but gosh, there were just like aspen trees or birch trees. I honestly don't know the difference because I'm not a tree expert. Oh, they were birch. Bubbo! It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. I, I expected a bit more. First one, apparition. Again, about this website. <clears throat> What time is it? Three. It's almost four o'clock. Okay, I don't think he's going to disturb the neighbors too much. Okay, I just don't want them to get all. I write the name of this one down. So I don't know what this one is. Oh, no. Okay, I didn't. Oh, no, no, no. There it is. There it is. There it is. Okay. Laudanum, which is going to be heavy on the opium, it says. Saffron and oh, amber grease accord. If you see something that says accord, that means that it is synthetic. They had to create that in the lab. Amber grease is illegal in the U.S. to use to purchase. You can't get it, and the reason for that is because. And the reason for that is because amber grease is basically whale vomit, and when you don't do this. When you kill a whale, um, when you go whaling. <laughs> um, sorry. <laughs> when you kill a whale, you can collect their vomit. It's <laughs> apparently, I don't know. I've, I've read like two books on whale, whale hunting. The best one was probably In the Heart of the Sea, which was made into a not great movie with Chris Hemsworth. Not great movie. Fantastic book heartbreaking book. Be prepared, okay? If you like books about cannibalism at sea, it's for you, but it's still heartbreaking. Yeah, and like, oh gosh, what was this? I think it was like right after the revolution. I'm trying to get out here. Oh, it's right here. Um, after the revolution, the American Revolution, Sorry, not the French one, even though I kind of feel like we need another one. Some heads should roll, I believe. <laughs> um, anyway, it takes place after the American Revolution off the coast of Cape Cod. Huge fishing industry at the time. So let's say late 1700s, early 18. Again, I did it again. Don't smell from the container, Liz. Don't do it. Oh, shoot, that went everywhere. Okay, laudanum. I don't know if you guys know this or not. I'm just gonna say that you do. Laudanum is like the chief component for um, morphine, okay? Today's morphine. The opium, laudanum, same thing, all right? Oh, wow, 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 oh my. I'm, <sighs> I've smelled a lot of things, never smelled this. <laughs> I know we were talking about whales. We'll get back to that. Whatever. I don't care. Okay. No, of course I care. Of course I care. Oh, this is someone with vetiver. Okay. Opium, saffron, ambergris accord, plum, bergamot, vetiver, and patchouli. Now, patchouli, y'all, are you ready? Oh, 
I'm buying this one. I'm buying. I'm already addicted. Okay, I better go get my dog. I don't want my neighbors to be all like, so give me two seconds, okay? I'm so sorry. All right. I can't. I put a cat right here. But I can't do that. I'm sorry. I'll be right back. I promise. I promise. Oh, you know what? I promise. You know, I'm just going to get a quick refill while I'm at it. Why not? Oh, you are an asshole. It's us here. There's no piggy. Yeah, you left a piggy outside. You big, you big dog. Okay, I'm, I'm just refilling real quick. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Why not my hands? All right, I love you too. You're a good boy. He's not a good boy. Actually, he's a fantastic. I love this dog so much. He gives great hugs. Actually, he doesn't give hugs, but he'll like lean into you when you hug him. He'll like lean into you. It just makes you feel so like mm, perfect. This is fantastic. This is amazing, and I love it. Love it. This this will get noticed if you wear this. Someone is going to stop you. I guarantee you, one hundred percent guarantee you, they're going to stop you and they're going to say, "What is that?" I'm gonna say, girl, it's laudanum. Since it has so many notes in here, it's kind of hard to pick through. Patchouli, yeah, patchouli. Not a huge amber. Not a lot of saffron. I feel like it's the plum is, I would say, the most dominant note here. It's, it smells a little berry-ish. Gosh, this is nice. It smells fresh. It smells like, um, fresh. It just smells, it smells like perfection. This is probably the nicest thing I've smelled in a long time. And again, smelled a lot of things. This will get you noticed. Again, laudanum from Hexanoct. I should mention also, I lost count at 120. They have between, I would say, 150 and 175 different perfumes. And if they all smell like, well, not all like this, but you know, if they all smell this good, um, this probably won't be our only. Session with Hexen on. In fact, I'm, I'm already. When, when I went to the website, I immediately looked at. Here it is. I immediately looked at what was their most popular, and I bought. I would say a couple of those, and then the rest of them I was like, "Well, this sounds good to me. This sounds like something I would like." Um, and I believe Laudanum was one of the popular ones, and I see why now. That's very kind. That's very kind. <clears throat> <coughs> it's okay, I don't have the plague. <coughs> Allergies or maybe perfumes. Oh, my eyes are <coughs> watering. Maybe laudanum isn't for me after all. Even though the smell is amazing. <laughs> I'm allergy attack. I don't care. Whatever. I got Benadryl. Mm -hmm. Oh, I do want to apologize for last time. I was absolutely hungover and kind of cranky. I'm not hungover and cranky now. Because I got sleep last night. Not a whole lot of sleep because I was like so excited about this one. I really was. I was just like, ah, oh, I was running out of my head. <sighs> anyway, sorry about last time. I was a little cranky. Not bad. This one is called Winchester Mystery House. Now, the Winchester Mystery House, if you, there, I think there was a movie starring Dame Helen Mirren who won an Oscar for The Queen. Fantastic movie. Fantastic. Um, she, she checked one off her bucket list <laughs> and did a horror movie. Um, and I don't remember the name of it, but it was in regards to the Winchester house, which is purportedly haunted. I don't remember where it is. I didn't do any research on that. I'm sorry about that. 
guys, you know, life happens, deal. Winchester, what? Ugh, what a leather. Oh, okay. Vanilla, cedarwood, patchouli, santal, sandalwood, um, amber, and clove. Oh, that's probably the clove that I'm smelling. Oops, normally I love clove. In fact, I've got one, one next one, next one, cloven. This is heavy. Oh, wow, this smells like Christmas. Brandy. Spiced rum. I could drink that. <laughs> I would call this spiced wine. This is very nice. This is so nice. This is clove. Yep, yeah, there it is. And a little patchouli. Yeah. Palette cleanser, that's what I call it. <laughs> What's our time? I've been talking so much, I'm sorry. <clears throat> Thankfully, not a huge amount of vanilla. Sorry, I think I got some on my nose. It's oil. It's oil. It's all over. It's like reading tea leaves. What does my future hold? Oh, no. I'm getting attacked by a deformed pachyderm. Oh, pachyderm. By the way, Assassin's Creed, Origins, Egypt, I have one complaint. Don't put cats in your game. They'll swarm. Not swarm, but like two or three will like hang out near my main character while I'm just sitting there and like looking at my map and all that. Don't put cats that I can't pet. That was the nice thing about Black Flag, Assassin's Creed Black Flag. I could pet the cats, I could pet the dogs. It was great and I loved it. Now I can't pet the cats in Assassin's Creed Origins Egypt. It makes me very sad because I don't want to pet those damn cats all day. Yeah. <clears throat> Professionalism. Nah. It does. It smells like Christmas, and the reason for that is probably the cloves. This is heavenly, also. <sighs> it's supposed to smell like a haunted house, and if that's the case, slime me out. This is heavenly. This is this is what I want. This is what I want my house to smell like. And inshallah, it will again. <laughs> Listen, my brother is staying with me right now. You guys remember from the, um, I think it was Abbott NYC. He made an appearance. Um, things have deteriorated a bit. Luckily, he's not home right now. And that's why I'm free to be who I am right now. Things have deteriorated. Who wants my brother? <clears throat> It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. He's got a month to find a new place, even though we had this discussion in April. This one is cloven, obviously, cloves, and then it says on sugar. So it's going to be, I imagine, just like cloves white uh, with the sugar, just fine. There's a fantastic one that Sephora sells, I think, exclusively to Sephora. It's called Pink Sugar. I think it's called Pink Sugar. I could be wrong. <clears throat> but it's fantastic. It's a fantastic fragrance for women. Um, it's very, 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 like, white, happy, feminine, but not, like, overly whatever. Sorry, I'm trying to do this one-handed so I don't get oil every... Where are I going to work? I can crack an egg one-handed. <laughs> Close this dip wand file. <laughs> Takes a bit more work. Oh no! Here. No, this hurts. It's... Taste, taste. It smells like being like stuck into a vat of marshmallows, which honestly I'm okay. It's not the way I want to go, though. I would like to be smothered by golden retrievers. Puppies. Puppies. Well, actually, any puppies. Any puppies. I don't want to say golden retrievers. My boys and their, of course, of whatever. Any puppies. Because all 
dogs are born to love, and that's it. Uh, no, I'm not digging. The dry down might be awesome. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's just too, well, it's too heavy on the clothes, but there's also some marshmallow in here. There's got to be, even though it didn't say there was, but it's got to be. And maybe that's where the sugar is coming from. I don't know. I don't like it. I don't, I don't love it. It's not, the worst thing I smelled. Oh, it'll be my brother's room, the guest room, <laughs> which is going to take me a week. Honestly, after he's gone to clean, and I might repaint also. It's that bad. He's horrible. Anyway, thank you for letting me vent. Like, you have a choice. You are a captive audience, and thank you. I feel like you're doing well, and thank you very much. Ooh, a zero fail. A zero fail? Zero fail. If you recall from Good Omens, Terry Pratchett, Neil Gaiman. Oh, they, they, they did a series on Amazon not too long ago. Gosh, I think it was in the fall. They did a series. He was mostly faithful to the book. The book is amazing. Read the book. Read the book. It's like if Monty Python wrote the book about uh, the end of the world, that's what it would be. And it was awesome. The book is fantastic. The series was also okay. It wasn't the book. <laughs> and that's the problem. <laughs> because when you're expecting the book and you get not your expectations. Listen, Michael Sheen and David Tennant did a great job in the main roles as, as Zero Fail and Crowley. <laughs> oh, 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 I'm having a little issue with this one. Oh, sorry. Notes. Marshmallow. Oh, marshmallow, wool, and leather. Marshmallow, wool, and leather. Okay, okay, okay. So Zero Fail is going to smell. Marshmallow, wool, and leather. Okay, wool is such a comforting smell. Leather also. Definitely masculine. Don't like it. <clears throat> the marshmallow, thankfully, cuts in with a little bit of sweetness. But this is really heavy. This is definitely masculine. Um... It, it 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 hurts a little bit. It brings up some memories, and I'm not no nope, not happy with it all. So we're just gonna pop it in the bag and run away. Okay, zero fail. Not a good idea. You know the nice thing about again Hexamoct is they have sorry 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 a little therapy session. It's funny how smell is connected to our sense of memory, isn't it? This doesn't work for me at all. Um. There are, again, between 150 and 175 smells for Hexanoct. I'm going to buy more. I hope you can deal with that. Not for me. <clears throat> Baltic Amber. Obviously Amber. Um, cedarwood, Oak Moss, and Musk. That's cedarwood. I love cedarwood. I love the spicy, woodsy stuff. Okay. 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 Sorry about that. Oh, come on, yeah. come on. Did I tell you the website is mostly for goth people? If you love the dark arts, if you're a fan of Aleister Crowley, if you're a fan of the occult, um, if you like wearing a lot of black, um, this website is for you. Seriously. Oh, look. This helps. <laughs> this helps to bring me back. It's the amber. This, I would call this therapy. This is so nice. This is so nice. Baltic Amber, thank you for the Amber. For some reason, Amber centers me. I'm thankful. Very, very thankful. Musk. Oh, beautiful. Guys. Nice. Almost at 30 minutes. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay. Um, impressions. Um, your favorite aunt. 
or aunt, depending on where you are regionally. Your favorite aunt. She's got a room that smells just like this. <laughs> and it is comforting. Comforting. Very, very comforting. I love this. I love it. I love it. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you, Hexanaut. By the way, Hexanaut, I did a minimum, minimum, minimal research into the word Hexanaut. And basically, it's named for there's a saint. Baby. Go, 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 baby. Whining, I hate you. I didn't want you to be sad. There's a saint who was against witchcraft, and that's what this is named for. <laughs> Comforting. It smells like, um, baby boy. Baby boy. Well, you wanted to come in. You're making so much noise. Do you want to see him? Do you want to see how sad he looks right now? <sighs> Poor baby boy. Everybody, everybody shed a tear for poor baby boy. Are you okay? <clears throat> okay. We have one more. Oh, we're almost done. We're almost done. Well, good, because it's, it's ooh, it kept too long because I didn't to. This is called Alexandrite. Alexandrite. Now, this one is I wrote it down, but it's written here, but it's also been written in like um, two point font. So who can read this? Who can read this? Oh, Lord. That was my neighbor. That was Lisa. Hi, Lisa. Chuck and Lisa. Aren't they sweet? They're really, they're really sweet. They're working in their house right now. And they have a gorgeous rose bush. Actually, say why. I've got like four rose bushes and they're just going crazy right now. Awesome. Sadly, my lilacs are not doing so well. Oh, I just realized I forgot to put the Beltic Amber in that I just put the cards. <laughs> I swear it's just my first glass. Alexandrite, which is incense, a whole bunch of berries, which is why I didn't write all that down. Raspberry, blueberry, plum, strawberry, dark patchouli, oh, oud. We, do you remember the last one we did, oud? Did not make me happy whatsoever. Juliet has a gun. Had, um, oh, by the way, I did order Sunny Side Up. I used my $20 rebate on Sunny Side Up. I couldn't help it. I couldn't help it. It was just too good. Okay. Um, did you, oh, yeah. Ood. Okay. So I'm expecting to just like be punched in the face. Chuck Moore style again. Oh, would you please? Ooh. It's all over the place. Don't forget to make your perfume, oil, or eau de parfum last longer. Make sure you're heavily moisturized. Anglerfish? Anglerfish. No? Oh, look at that centaur. Berries. Huge punch of berries. Luckily, I don't get a huge amount of oud. Oh, that's nice. I'm not, I didn't think I was a huge fan of berries, but shoot, this is really, I don't want to say comforting. I would say fresh. Again, fresh, just like the first one. Mm, going berry picking. Let's go. Actually, let's not go because I'm allergic to strawberries and raspberries. Anything with little small seeds. It's not an allergy, actually, but it will make my, um, gallbladder, act up, and I'll throw up for like three days and die. It's awesome. I'm a berry picking. And it's nice to smell it. <laughs> this, is, this is like a beautiful summer's day. Gorgeous summer's day. Not a huge amount of incense. I'm not getting a huge amount of patchouli, but maybe that's just in my brain. I just want to be outside. I want to go to the Ren Fest, which would be going on right now, but it's not. And I missed it. This is what the Renfest smells like. This is nice. This is just 
It is comforting, actually. Being in a big old berry patch, and I love it. Gosh, absolutely fantastic. Except for that one that sent me into a spiral. Loved them all. I am going to order more. <laughs> We're going to do this again. We're absolutely going to do this again. Did I mention, because, you know, I'm... No, you guys, you guys, look at look what you made me do. Huh? Mm -mm. Well, we have to end. Um, I did, <laughs> excuse me, what? I did uh, receive another one and I did order another one. I really have to be, I, I have to be stopped. Oh, I can afford this, whatever. Who cares? from Riddle Oil finally arrived. I ordered it, I think, at the end of March, and then I didn't get it for like two weeks. I normally wait two weeks because, you know, I don't try to be a uh, uh, butthole, butt munch, turkey butt. In case any kids are watching. Um, I don't try to be a person like that. I'm not a Karen. I'm not a Karen. Did you see me, Karen? I'm not a Karen. I'm gonna distract you with this pig, pig nose. <laughs> okay, so I ordered this little oil, I think, at the end of March, and I didn't receive it for two weeks, so I sent him an email, and I was like, hey, what's up? And they're like, oh, it's back ordered. They didn't mention that on the website when I ordered it. And furthermore, I kept seeing it for sale all over Facebook. Try your sample set. Try your sample set. And I was like, dudes, don't advertise something you can't send. I was, I was a little... Okay, at that point, I became a, little, became a little bit of a Karen. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Three Hello Dollies and two whatever for me. I don't care. I, I, I okay, so whatever. They arrived. So that's on my stack of things. You guys, this is a problem. It's not a problem. I can afford it. Listen, I guess we're done. Are we done? I hope you all are doing so well. Stay safe. If you have darling children, please try to keep him out of the public. They, according to Whitney Houston, are our future. And so if you get that joke, please understand. I, I love Whitney Houston. I have a playlist of Whitney Houston songs. I love Whitney Houston. My name is her. I do. She far too early. <clears throat> I think I think we're done. I'm not sure if this went the way I thought it would in my head. We've got so many more to go through. I'm going to include links. I hope you all are doing so well. Love you. Miss you. Be well. At this point, I would be drinking, but look what you made me do. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Don't. Listen. Love you. Be safe.